Attention, college freshmen. ZNS wants to send you to college with some great prizes. Just WhatsApp a 10 second video of you holding the name of your college or university. 557 3488 by August 21st. Include your name and you are entered to win really big. For more details, go to www.znsbahamas.com slash giveaways. All on the light of the National Art Gallery recently celebrating its 20th anniversary on the grounds of Villa Doyle. Our Jiminita Swain was there. It's not every day that you see stilt walkers, but the National Art Gallery made sure to have them on deck as it marked its 20th anniversary with a down-home party at its West Hill Street grounds. So what we try to do is just make people feel at home and welcome everybody in and hope you have fun. NAGB's Executive Director Ian Bethel Bennett on the festivities that included comfortable seats and eats and drinks and environment on the lawn. The Scotch Kong Band, part of the entertainment with guests snapping pics to mark the two-decade milestone. Benet says the event also celebrated the life of Dr. Gail Sanders, who was critical to the organization's formation. Amanda Colson served as the NAGB's former executive director for 10 years. I just think it's really beautiful. I mean, I've, I've seen it grow, I've seen it change, but um, I've seen it again become a really fundamental part of our fabric of the city of our culture i see how many schools come through how many bahamians come through so proud of what we do and just to have been a part of that is is a great great honor the role of the national art gallery to preserve and promote the visual culture of the bahamas a number of artists host exhibitions there with antonius roberts currently on display. Like, I mean, in 2023, I think you really need to be thinking dynamically and virtually. Um, and I think that's the future of the gallery. It's about partnerships, um, expanding the platform, expanding the programming, um, thinking new, redefining our curatorial efforts. What the National Art Gallery has done for the visual arts is that it has, it has set a standard and it's actually created a neutral space where all visual artists, all Bahamian visual artists, all visual artists who do work that connects to the Bahamas or the Caribbean in some way have a place where they can come. And while art pleases the intellectual sense, Bell Monkey Foot was on hand with savory treats. So today we have the grilled shrimp, the cracked chicken, and the steak kebab. And the uh, veggie spring roll, not to leave out the vegetarians, you know, so one for everybody. Gallery officials are hoping to be around for another 20 years, and they know that with your support and your funding, they can definitely do just that. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm Jiminita Swain.